Okay, today I'm going to show you how to distress anything in your house from furniture to cabinets to bar stools to rocking chairs. Um, there's endless possibilities as to what you can distress. And you see I distressed my kitchen cabinets. I've also distressed <laughs> pretty much everything at this point. Um, Let's see, we'll get in really close and see. Now these cabinets were actually dark brown and we were fixing the house up and of course ran out of money because it was a foreclosure and we spent more than we anticipated. So instead of waiting another year for brand new cabinets. I decided to give them a new look and this will hold me off till I get new cabinets for sure. I went ahead and you can do this on the dresser too and you can get new hardware. I got those on eBay. I got new hinges. Um, on the dresser you can get new pull handles and basically when you distress first know there's no rules and you really can't mess up. Um, assuming you're going to do a white distressed look and you want to start your dresser, your project, your cabinets with a white. Um, this is just a regular and interior and wall, wall and ceiling flat paint. Sorry for the mess. And then my distressing color, I either use two or three I'm sorry, <clears throat> two or three colors all together. The white, and then I'll use a dark color. This is a, let's see that, that's a dark brown. And now you can combine these two colors, the brown and the white, to make a lighter brown also if you want to. But what I do is I go by the cracks, and you can do this if your dresser has cracks in these sides and I go over it with a the dark brown. All the corners. This is an indentation so I went through that with the brown. And you can see the corners I did a little bit heavier there. You could see all the way up the top. So we can zoom in there. And see I gave it more depth by um, including the dark color there on the sides. You can see I did long, I started out by everything being white and then I came in with the dark brown. And of course the kids don't know I'm recording a video so sorry for that singing and chanting. Here's uh, another side. And I'm going to show you, because this if you had a dresser, this is what the side would look like or the front if you wanted more distressing. I'm going to show you how I did this. See, I have the dark at the edges, and you can see long strokes of brown. Then I came over it with the white. So if you don't like the look, my son's cooking a pizza. If you don't like the look right away, you can go back over it with the white as many times as you need to. Oops. I will usually go back over things several times. So you see I'm just coming in here. Jessica, could you hold this? With the dark. I'm going to pretend this is a dresser, and then I even go, can you come right in here so you can see, and go straight down like this, heavier at the corners, don't be afraid, and now I'm going to come in with my white. doesn't know it's being recorded, does he? And you just go right on top of that. This in the middle I want a little bit lighter, so I'm going to as well just grab my white and straight over it, up and down, 
Let me do this several times. Now again, if you do it too dark, you can always keep coming back over it and lightening it up. Or if you really hate the whole look, just simply repaint the cabinet white. It's really will give you the confidence to go ahead and try your own dresser, your own rocking chair, your own cabinets, because you just really can't make any mistakes. Worst case scenario is you start over with all white. Again, I'm kind of leaving the edges a little bit darker. Now see as I go back over, this middle is not so obvious. And again, this I want to keep a little bit darker. Now if here I want a little bit too light, no worries. Come back over with your brown, which I think I will do. I used to get um, old furniture, old dressers, old rocking chairs at resale shops and garage sales, very, very cheap. I'd bring it home, make it something new. And for a while there, I was even selling them um, at a shop. Um, you can even take it a step further and paint designs or flowers or whatever right on top when you're done. Um, if you're too nervous to start with the dresser or cabinets or whatever, start with something small. Get an old shelf that you're about to throw away or, um, you know, a wooden plaque or whatever and just experiment with it. And zoom out so we could see the whole look of the side and there you go now there are several ways to distress some people use um, sandpaper but I really enjoy going over with the um, paint and making my own look there's just really no way you can mess up and that's it thanks for watching make sure to see my other videos